What's the reason you have been banned from an establishment such as a shop, bad, restaurant, cafe, etc.? Got banned from the mall when I was younger because I wore an inappropriate shirt that I bought in the mall. I had a Harry Potter wand keychain confiscated at TSA, US airport security, earlier this year. I bought it in the same airport within the security zone on my last flight before that. I was doing a history project on Poland. And it was well known this teacher gave an extra letter grade for bringing in food from the country. A friend from my previous school brought me to a bakery that made kolach that his family loved. I ordered one for my class, paying a deposit and specifying the day I was due to present. I ran in before school to get my order, and the woman behind the counter, the manager, told me that whoever took my order never sent it, there was no kolach in the store. Despite me presenting my invoice and pointing out the date they agreed to have it, she refused to refund my deposit on the basis, we can make you one for tomorrow. I had to call the credit card company and dispute the charge that way. A few days later, my friend called me and asked why we were both banned from the bakery. Edit. How in the world did this blow up? Thank you all so much for the upvotes and awards. A few questions I have answered, in case anyone else is curious. I did not receive any bonus points from my teacher. She only awarded him if the food made it to class. This was my fourth quarter project and near the end of the year, so the only extra credit left for me to do was her regular bonus question on the test. She also did not teach any of the upper level history classes, or non-history classes, so I never had another class with her. This grade boost was solely for the quarterly projects, which only represented 20% of our grade. Anything over 100% would still be counted towards the quarterly grade. The story takes place in the Boston area. This bakery was sold years ago and cannot keep new owners. Did you show the receipt and get your grade bonus at least? Nope. She only gave the bonus if the food made it to class. Mercifully, I did not need it. Was banned from a mall arcade when I was a kid for holding all the whack-a-moles down. I got banned for using two hammers at Whack-A-Mole. Two games side by side, both hammers reached each game. They said I cheated, took my tickets and banned me. They're out of business now, but I think I'm not allowed at the Vax clinic they set up instead in that mall space. Also a fun story of someone who wasn't my friend but who I used to run track with. He thought it would be hilarious to put a pebble inside a piece of gum and throw it out the window of the bus on the way to a track meet thought it would just stick to the windshield and be a nuisance. Ended up shattering part of the windshield because we are in a bus going mf 55 miles per hour. Person followed the bus all the way to the track meet. Cops came. Kid was banned from track, not sure if he was banned from the bus though. When I was 12 my favorite thing to do was play laser tag at the one laser tag place in our town. I'd go every Friday night and play for 3 hours or so. There weren't many other regular players, so nobody else was getting better at it like I was. After about a year I was just wrecking everyone and the owner ended up banning me from the place because it was driving away customers. It really sucked because it was favorite activity and I was just immediately cut off from it. Six years later I found a place in another city that had other players that played regularly so I was able to start playing again with people at similar skill levels. Getting banned for being too good is a huge bragging right LMAO. I eventually ended up working at one of the laser tag stores and attending tournaments. Ended up on a national team that took second place one year. But I can tell you that nobody have ever told IRL ever thought it was cool. They think it's either nerdy or a kid's game. Oh well, it was fun, and good exercise when you're playing competitively. I got banned from Six Flags Great Adventure, NJ, several times in the early 90s. Back when I was in high school, Season passes like $40 or something, making it a no-brainer to buy one if you intended to go at least twice. My friend and I went probably 5 to 7 days a week since we lived close by. We knew the park and its operations better than pretty much anyone who didn't work there, and eventually grew too comfortable with taking shortcuts through employee areas, trying to climb things we shouldn't, bothering other guests, and overall being a bunch of New Jersey teenagers, aka jerks. Thing is, the only IDs we had on us were our season passes, which we always assigned fake names for no pre-planned reason. Summer of 1994 my pass said Oscar Schindler. We eventually got in so much trouble they would take our passes and tell us we were banned for life. 
well, another $40 at the front gate and boom, back in as Itzhak Stern. They needed at that time to figure out the flaws in their system. You were just quality assurance. This is how I got banned from Chuck E. Cheese. I figured out that I could take a ball from the game where you shoot the clown's teeth and use it at the ski ball machine. The ski ball machine would count the points but not the ball used, which enabled me to play forever with just one ball and max out the machine. I did it on two ski ball machines before someone noticed and I got banned, kicked out. I have won but at what cost? I got mistaken for somebody else whilst on holiday a few years back. I popped into a local shop to grab a sandwich and drink and a staff member forcefully marched over to me and yelled, you're not allowed in here. I've told you before, as she grabbed my sandwich and bottle of water from me and put them back. I of course tried to protest and explained that I had never been in there before and was a visitor to the area but she gestured for the security guard to come over to escort me out and stood watching us from a distance with her arms folded and a smug look on her face, occasionally shouting, if she doesn't go, I'm calling the police. Thankfully the security guard was a little more understanding about the situation and happily looked at my driving license which proved I lived in a different area, I offered to show it, but said, perhaps it would be best if you didn't come in here again. My mom was banned from Costco in the 90s for false identity as well. Someone had stolen her checkbook and bought about $2,500 worth of things at Costco in one trip. The check bounced and Costco put the ban on her checking number. She had everything cleared up with the banks and brought Costco proof that her checkbook had been stolen, but they didn't believe her. It wasn't until a few years later that she got a debit card and attempted to shop there to see what would happen that she was allowed to shop again. Her debit card has different numbers than her checkbook did so they didn't know it was her. Taking pictures of produce and price signs at a small grocery store while shopping. I was just trying to keep track of which stores had which food at cheaper prices so I could plan my shopping trips. They thought you were a competitor. It actually happens lol. I was banned from the library as a kid. Overdue fees, they let you go up to $70 before cancelling your card. I was an avid reader and my mom hated taking me to the library, always said she would and then changed her mind last minute. It was a 6 mile walk round trip so I would take a wheeled suitcase and get around 25 at a time, the fees added up fast. Lol. I resorted to stealing books and returning them and I'm pretty sure some of the librarians just turned a blind eye. They forgive the debt when you turn 18. Feeding the seagulls. We ruined the entire upper decks dining experience with a few french fries. Dozens, maybe 100 swarmed. It was like a scene from the birds. People had to evacuate. My friend and I were banned for life from a casino in Las Vegas 20-something years ago. We had gone for his 21st birthday which was the week prior. Despite being of legal age he looked appropriately 12. After being carded by a cocktail waitress for the 700th time, she recommended he go to the security desk, show his ID, and get a stamp on his hand showing he was 21, that way he wouldn't have to keep pulling out his license. Great. We go to security, they stamp my hand in two seconds, but start examining his ID real closely. They pull out the guidebook for all of the state's driver's licenses. They call over a supervisor. Finally they just say, no, sorry, this is fake. It says under 21 on it. My friend at first calmly tried to explain that he turned 21 the week before, and was under 21 when he got the license, which is why it was on there. He lived in one state, was going to college in another, and hadn't gone home to renew his license yet, but it wasn't expired so it was valid. They said this is a private establishment, we're not comfortable with it, and we're asking you to leave. Now he had a bad temper, which I knew, and he had been drinking. I tried to defuse the situation and said, hey, F this place. There's 100 casinos on the strip. Let's go somewhere else. He agreed and we headed for the door. 10 feet from the exit I hear, F it, I'm giving that asshole a piece of my mind. Five minutes later we were escorted to a room off the floor, had our pictures taken, and were told we were banned for life, and if we ever returned we would be charged with trespassing. I haven't been back to Vegas since that, but if I do I'd like to walk in to test their facial recognition software lol. Back in the late 1980s, I was in the Florida Keys with a group of friends. I got drunk and went to bed and some of the guys went out bar hopping. The next morning a deputy sheriff showed up at the place we were renting, told us to pack our things and he would escort us to the county line and we were not to come back. So not only did I get banned from an entire Florida county, I never did get a straight story about what the guys who were at the bar did to get us banned. Holy crap, the Monroe County deputy escorted you all the way to the mainland. 
Considering how rowdy Key West can get, your buddies must have done something heinous. Banned from the college cafeteria for taking in a digital food safety thermometer, and a copy of the state health department temperature ranges. They were consistently 20 degrees Fahrenheit minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit low, and food poisoning was a common problem. Nothing says, we totally hear your legitimate safety concerns, like GTFO. Ba Got banned from a local Kmart about 25 years ago for figuring out that if you just slap the handle on the old twist turn candy dispensers that took a quarter it would just give you free candy. Yeah they call that stealing. Took my photo and everything. Edit, for the record I did in fact know it was wrong and don't dispute on a technicality it was stealing winking face. It actually taught me a good lesson honestly. Still though, I was just a kid and being walked into the security office for my photo was terrific thumbs up. We used to tell a story similar to this as a buddy of mine was 12 and got caught stealing from Walmart. They gave him a life sentence to never go into another Walmart. About 5 years later we finally got him to go into Walmart with us and it was like he was behind enemy lines. Nervous, always looking over his shoulder like a Walmart cop is gonna come arrest him. It is still hilarious. I tried to pay my cover, entry fee, to a bar one time with two dollar bills and instead of taking my money the bouncer told me to leave in a not super polite manner. I used to tip in two dollars bills all the time at restaurants and bars. It always got me great service because my waitress or waiter would always remember me. I got banned from the local orthodontist because during an appointment my mom asked the doctor why her degree was from the US, we live in France. She was genuinely curious and just wanted to talk but for some reason the doctor took it really badly, he insulted my mom while I had the cheek retractor in my mouth and left the room. Fortunately it was my penultimate appointment, and on the last one he was really aggressive and told us to never come back and go see someone else for my siblings. I was banned from Kmart. A friend and I went to the local one and took one of those air duster can things and froze bouncy balls with it. If you tip it upside down and spray it a super cold liquid comes out cold enough to freeze things and even cold burn you. We froze bouncy balls and shattered them. On the ground. We did it to two of them. We were both banned. We were also 17 at the time. We were idiots. It pretty much doesn't matter now. There's hardly any Kmart's left anyways. Edit changed AY to AT. My family has been banned from a local Marcos pizza for Yayars because of my mom. She used to have some anger issues and also really really loves garlic butter. When the Marcos forgot to include the garlic butter with the order she called and asked them to deliver the single cup of garlic butter to our house. The Marcos, reasonably, said they can't do that, but she could come get it. She stormed over there with our pizza and proceeded to smear the whole thing on their windows and counters. Haven't had Marcos since. Reminds me of when I worked for a local pizza place. Delivered a pizza for a lady and she asked me where her garlic cup was. I checked her receipt as well as all her boxes to see if it was ordered. She never ordered one and I showed her. She insisted I go to my car and grab one because she knows we keep them in our cars, we don't. I told her I didn't have any and then she starts screaming and cursing at me. Our policy for cursing was, you're able to leave, hang up the phone if it happens. So I said have a nice night and left. I get back to the store and the lady is calling us now. What she didn't know was the store owner was running the store that night because we had someone call out. He answers the phone like normal and then she tells him that your delivery driver ran off like a little bitch. He then says, ma'am have a nice night, and just hangs up. Immediately after she calls again and was now cursing at the owner of the store. He then goes, ma'am, you're no longer allowed to order from this store. Have a nice night, and hangs up again. All this commotion over an item that was never ordered. I used to work at a sushi restaurant. I got fire, banned because I told the manager that some of the food smelled like it was expired and maybe we should throw it out. Next thing I know, she's giving me my check and kicking me out. Edit, for legal reasons, I can't say the name, but I will say that it's in the San Fernando Valley, they have two locations, one in Encino and one in Tarzana. Their name has three words. Edit to, Cho Cho San. Went to a bar that had newly opened with friends. Ordered some drinks, cocktails ECT. They took forever to make it and after an hour we still didn't have all the ordered drinks and some of the ones we did get were wrong. So we wanted to leave and requested the bill. They gave us the full bill, like they wanted us to pay even for the things we never got simply because we ordered them. And of course they expected a generous tip. We argued we would not pay for drinks we never got. 
They called us liars and assholes, threatened to call the police and that from now on we were banned from that establishment. We told him we didn't mind and to go ahead and call the police. When he went into his bureau to call we quickly calculated what we owed, slapped the money on the table and got the hell out of there. They went out of business after like half a year and had to sell the bar. The new owner is okay. Went to a training course out of town when I was 21 and because it was a long journey the entire group just booked hotel rooms for the night. I booked a single room for myself and got placed opposite end of the hotel from the rest of my group who were all sharing with classmates. Only times I left the room after arriving were to get some dinner and then to go to the bar to watch a football match where I sat with lecturers who accompanied us and spent the time chatting with them in the barman. Headed to bed around 11-ish. As I was heading up to my room I passed my group who were heading out to a nearby nightclub, had a quick smoke with M outside before they took my number as a kind of emergency contact for themselves. Uh, anyway next morning comes and I'm down at the lobby for 7-ish, grabbed some tea and some breakfast and went to ask for something at reception when I overheard a group of elderly people in front of me complaining at the desk about the noise last night. My group came back absolutely poo-faced and brought a lot of people back with M from the nightclub. Manager had every room inspected before we left the property and was gonna charge for any damages done, honestly completely understandable. Some rooms from what I gathered were utterly thrashed. I nipped out for a smoke knowing my room was perfectly fine. Hell I even stripped the bed down before I left to save housekeeping the bother, but nope I got called in and told I was being charged an extra 300 euros for damages done. I inquired about the damages and asked to be brought up and shown them. Went up followed by the manager, a receptionist, housekeeping and one other staff member and they showed me the damaged room. Told me it was a disgrace, we were barred, cops could be called if we refused to pay to fix damages was incredibly condescending and snobbish. He shut up very fast the moment I asked if we should compare the time-stamped images I took upon entering the room for the first time the previous day to the current damage he was charging me for, I took my phone out opened it and flashed the pics. He didn't even look at it. All that damage I had caused was there when I arrived the day previous and was at worst minor that any resident handyman could fix in minutes. Manager was looking to make a profit on a Tuesday night and was looking to con a group of students out of it and got too greedy and it cost him. I informed the lecturers and asked very loudly if I should indeed call the police due to them trying to scam us but we were late for day two of the course so just left. No one paid. I filed a complaint after I left. Hotel was lovely to be fair and I tried to go back a few years later with my partner as a surprise getaway present for her but wouldn't you know it I was banned from the hotel. Uncle always told me to take pics when entering a hotel room, obviously same poo happened to him previously. I got banned from a friend's church when I was a kid. They had basketball on Tuesdays and the guy in charge kept slapping all the kids on the ass. I told him not to touch me again, so this creepy MF doubled down and this time and literally slid his hand between my legs until he hit my balls. So I told him if he touches me again I'm stabbing him in the effing neck. So they called the cops and told me if I ever come back I'm getting arrested. P.S. They didn't give AF that I was just sexually assaulted by an adult. My friend went back years later and he was still playing grab ass. Honest Yelp review of a putty cupcake shop, that the owner violated numerous health codes and so I reported her. Mice droppings on floor, counters. Owner smoked in, doorway, and someone showed images of ash on icing. Plus smoke sticks to food and complaints of smoke taste in reviews were always removed. When a greedy slob tries to make money selling cupcakes, you can just tell. I'm banned from a restaurant from a review too. It was a newly opened slightly upscale soul food diner place, not really upscale but like $15 for chicken and waffles, which is what I ordered. My review gave them 4 stars, and in the review I said, the food was good though I'd say I'm more rounding up from 3.5 stars which would be more accurate. The owner replied online, what could we do to make it 5 stars, please email me, and I thought they wanted honest criticism, so I said while I liked the food and the cocktail I had, I think at $15 it could have a small side included because it was just chicken and waffle and kind of a small serving at that. They got really upset and said not to come back. Just in case you think you have the trashiest family I'll make you feel better. My family is banned from an Applebee's in Syracuse, New York. Coming home from a game, my drunk dad started a verbal fight with the manager because he sat a table before us swearing that we were there first. We weren't, but drunk dad was not having any of it. 
Every time that, Applebee's on a date night, Song comes on everybody looks at him and we laugh and he says he regretties nothing and stood up for what was right. They probably don't remember, but I'm technically not allowed back in the foggy goggle in Boston. My friends and I did mind erases, sweet booze with a straw that one drinks quickly, and decided that the entire bar needed to hear, I believe in a thing called love, sung at full voice. The staff did underscore not underscore agree. We were escorted out shortly after the song ended and asked to not return. A bar owner of a dangerous dive bar where I live got super drunk and enlisted the help of 10 regulars to beat the poo out of one of my friends. He was hospitalized and then they double charged me before we left and then I was banned. It's been years and to this day we still don't know what started it. Somebody gets jumped behind the bar nearly every single night, so it was only a matter of time. I talked it over with my police officer buddy and they sent officers to request the recording of the parking lot from that night. The tapes were missing, and we were poo out of luck. When I went to an all-you-can-eat Japanese food restaurant, and, as I don't like raw Japanese food, I ate five dishes of grilled salmon. When I asked for the sixth dish, they kindly asked me to leave. LOL. Tis no man. Tis a remorseless eaten machine. My roommates and I along with a few friends went out to a bar one night to drink. We had grown a single beautiful watermelon in our yard, and brought him along to party with us. Named him Walter Melon, pronounced mel -own. We snuck the watermelon into the bar, and generally just passed it around and praised him for being a good melon. At first the bouncers didn't care, they came up to us and just told us to be careful with it. One of my friends got pretty drunk and starting holding it above his head and dancing with it. The bouncers had enough of our shenanigans and tried to take it. My drunk friend agreed with them that he'd leave with the melon. A few minutes later, my friend makes it back into the bar with the melon under his jacket. He had snuck in through the back and avoided the bounces. Once they saw the melon again they got pretty pissed lol and kicked us all out. We argued for our melon back but to no avail. Rip Walter. Funnily enough, a group of dudes who left the bar had seen, heard about the melon incident. As we were all hanging outside the bar waiting for an Uber, the dudes drove past, stopped and handed us a pumpkin lol. So we ended the night melonless but with a new pumpkin friend. We got banned temporarily but I could probably go back. Next time you go, bring a tiny pumpkin and name it Gord. I got kicked out of my first PhD program, does that count? I was doing my PhD in astronomy, working on a project that was frankly far too ambitious for getting a PhD out on the time scale that was intended due to numerous technical delays, combined with an advisor who in hindsight did not take me seriously as a scientist. This all came to a head in year 5, where I finally didn't let him just wave all my concerns away, and my advisor decided that the problem was not him or the project, but me that I just was not capable of independent research, and he'd only just realized that after several years and two first author papers on my end. Unfortunately, due to the structure of the university system and the fact that he was the department head, heck, interim dean, so when he decided he would not allow me to defend there was nothing anyone could, would do wasn't allowed to submit my paper to the journal either, and had to just walk away from the paper and the two years of work that went into it. Luckily, I am stubborn and found someone to work with on another continent who was horrified about what was going on, and basically did all my PhD thesis work in two years and got my degree from a much more prestigious university. I am now a postdoc in Harvard, doing a ton of exciting research with several first author papers a year, so f that guy for insisting this was something I couldn't do. That first advisor faced absolutely no consequences for his behavior, of course, and still has students. Mysteriously, no women, so far as I can tell from their emails for help he keeps deciding they're all incapable of independent research. One of my favorite sushi spots that was was always at. I got to know all the waiters and staff because I went there so often. One day I went in there and there was a new woman behind the counter. She was hella rude to the customers and staff. Turns out the owner got married and this was his new wife. I didn't mind her being rude to me it's whatever. The next time I went she was being very disrespectful to the staff and the waiters that I really appreciated. I challenged her head on with the staff cheering me on. I got banned. Less than a year later they closed down. She shut them down. The reviews went from all great to a whole bunch of I can't stand that women. 
My parents got banned from their favorite Mexican restaurant because they would nine tenths times complain that the tostada shells were not crispy enough. Halfway through the meal they would ask for new tostadas with refried shells. The restaurant manager came to the table one evening and asked them to never return. My parents stopped going for a couple of months, then went again. They said the staff gave some eye rolls but didn't kick them out. I was rushing a fraternity at the time, never ended up making it through pledge period basically because of poo like this. So all the older brothers take us to Ichiban because they know they serve underage. We all proceed to get way too drunk for a restaurant or really any place. One of the pledge decides he's going to steal a koi fish and falls into the pond. From there the staff kicks him out which starts a shouting match between the older members and the staff. We all then get kicked out and banned for life. On the way out one guy stole a bonsai tree. He watered it for two weeks before he figured out it was plastic. Telling a fellow diner who was emotionally abusing her child exactly what I thought of her behavior. Edit. Since this is getting up votes, I have found the blog post I made later that afternoon. I just got thrown out of a restaurant for shouting at another diner. She'd been insulting her child loudly for about 10 minutes. The kid didn't do anything in response, she just kept eating. You can't eat properly. You're gross. I don't know what she thought the kid was doing, maybe not using a fork properly? Twice the woman did that thing people do to mock disabled folk. Doer newer newer newer, you know? And this was all loud enough that nobody could ignore it. All the other diners were turning round to glare at her. I was wondering how to intervene. There was too much anger in my mind. Then her partner said something quietly about how she was spoiling everyone's lunch. She snapped back, it's your fault for not restraining the kid. At this point I lost it. I jumped up, pointed at her, and shouted, you. You are the problem. And I told her that children should be encouraged and praised. That she was setting the kid up for. A lifetime of feeling worthless. And. How dare she treat a child that way. I don't remember what else I said. I was full berserker angry by this point. Excuse me, said the staff. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Of course. I'm sorry, I said to the staff. I'm sorry, I said to the other diners, and then, but I'm not bloody sorry to you. I don't think the woman will change. I expect she'll punish the child when they get home. But the child will never forget this day. The child will know that someone opposes her mother. That someone can fight her corner. That was a thousand times worth getting thrown out of the restaurant. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.